Can you see the tiny egg on my finger? How about now? This belongs to a 200 million year old crustacean called the Triops, and in just 20 days, it'll look like this. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it'll look like this. In this video, I will be attempting to bring these prehistoric dinosaurs back to life. What could go wrong? Turns out actually quite a lot, but uh, yeah. Imagine surviving 200 million years only to end up in my mailbox. I guess 90% of attempts to raise these creatures fail, which leaves us, what, like 20% chance to succeed. So I'm gonna look at the instructions here, not to read them. I just like to look at the photos here, the pictures, and try to guess what we're gonna be doing. And yeah, looks like we're gonna be doing something very illegal later, okay. Um, oh, well, this is nice, but I, I don't see any rolling papers, so I'm not sure I'm, how I'm just gonna smoke this. Oh, okay, yeah, it's the baby food, nice. Oh, here's the adult food as well. And some limestone we're gonna put in to raise the pH level of the water. And of course, we've got little triops eggs hidden in the sand. Isn't that nice? I've seen enough, let's do this thing. I'm using my most expensive terrarium. Water quality is extremely important for these guys to hatch and survive, so I'm using bottled water. I do feel a little bad about the microplastics, but whatever. Time to add the limestone. Um, wow, that was euphoric. Exquisite. Let's add these eggs. Wow, look at this shot. I'm expecting a call from Hollywood any day now. Dozens of eggs floating around in a gurgling concoction, waiting to be born. <laughs> what could go wrong? A lot. On day two, we had life. A tiny living fossil smaller than a grain of sand. If he survives, he will grow 200 times this size within just 20 days. We shall call him Piopi. On day three, Piopi had siblings. A dozen prehistoric jumping beans experiencing life for the first time. And they have this incredible ability. They solicit subscribers. And as they grow, they're going to look a lot different. Speaking of growth, let's feed these suckers. Not a lot of food, I guess they have small stomachs. So, gotta be careful. Okay, eat up my little cherubs. You have a long and prosperous life ahead of you. They all died. Except for Piopi. He's a fighter. I think he's going to live. He died. Turns out the limestone I was told to add made the water toxic and killed them all. Nice. Let's try this again, you know, except faster and without poison rocks. I refuse to fail again. We're going to succeed. Look at this. A white triops egg and a brown egg dancing in the water. Did we just end racism? As I was waiting for the eggs to hatch, I was slowly rawr, losing my mind. <laughs> but on day two, Piopi Jr. was born. <laughs> and by the afternoon, he was already larger than Piopi Sr. ever got. On day three, we had dozens of dancing babies again. But something large was lurking beneath the surface. It was Piopi Jr already ten times larger than his siblings. On day four, Piopi was alone in the tank. All the babies were gone. Turns out Piopi is a cannibal, and he ate all his siblings. I know I shouldn't feel this way, it's just circle of life, but I felt strange nurturing an organism that was so comfortable eating his own family. Oh, and I should mention, Piopi let two of his siblings live. I don't know why, Maybe he just liked their sense of humor. But to ensure my cannibal crab survived, I regularly tested the water and changed it like a mad scientist. But they were growing fast, and it was time for an upgrade. It started with a tank and some pre-washed sand. Feel free to cancel your therapy appointments for this week. This scene is the only mental health treatment you'll ever need. Yeah, that's nice. Hey, did you hear all the cool kids are subscribing to this channel? And if you don't, you're a nerd. That's their words, not mine. Anyway, um, I'm using Dragonstone here, and it's neat. And this is an underwater plant, uh, which is called Discount Bin from PetSmart. Now for the most critical item, a plastic baggie. Yes, 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 get all the microplastics. <laughs> Let's put them in. Piopi was excited to swim around and explore. 
<laughs> Look at that little rascal go. And when his siblings got in, they all seemed to really enjoy themselves. I heard them making jokes about how they murdered all their baby brothers and sisters. <laughs> they even played tag. Time for the adult food so they grow even bigger. They don't need a lot, just a pinch. And they did grow. This jellyfish looking blob is Piopi's shed skin. By day 20, they were huge, 200 times bigger than they were when they hatched. Triops live in desert puddles. They only live a few weeks to a few months max, and when the puddles dry, they die. But their eggs survive until the next time the rain falls. It's remarkable how Piopi was just an egg 20 days ago. He grew up so fast, so young to be such a violent murderer. And now he's laying eggs of his own. I guess Piopi was a girl. By day 45, they had all died, fulfilling their life purpose. And there was only one thing left for me to do. Clean out the tank, wait for the sand to dry, and fill up a plastic baggie. Let's do this one more time. 